YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video right here comes out of some mall, some damn well in the middle of nowhere most likely. But we have a young man who gets on his knees and profess his love to his queen. Well at least he thought was his queen, but little did he know that she had a trick up her sleeve. And I'm not talking about an ace of spades, I'm not talking about a king of clubs, or I'm not talking about a jack of hearts. But she did jack his heart and played him to the left, to the left, if you know what I mean. Now, marriage is supposed to be an honorable thing. It's supposed to be one of the most special times in your life. But you have to understand as people, not everybody is marriage material. Let me say that again. Not everyone that you meet or want to marry is marriage material. It takes a special kind of person to be married. It takes a special kind of person to stay married. It takes a special kind of person to be committed to one person monogamous all those years just a one-on-one -on -one relationship and not a lot of people are built like that so we have to understand that also and understand at the same time that there is someone for everyone if you look for love love will truly find you and will find a way but you know in uh the things that i do in the profession that i do talking to people you know what i'm saying and uh traveling with my job or whatnot I encounter a lot of people, and a lot of people do not believe in love. And I look at them, I'm like, well, why? You know what I'm saying? What, what, was, what happened? Because, you know, ever since we were young, we were taught, okay, you, you do this in life. You uh, go to school. You get an education. You, uh, you graduate. You get a good job. You get married. You have kids, and bam, that's it. You know. But I understand a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people don't want to abide by these regular, quote-unquote, uh, the way society, this culture that we live in, I understand that. So a lot of people would choose not to go to college. A lot of people would choose not to get married. A lot of people just choose, like the ch uh, the church folks say, shack up. Now, if you want to shack up, that's on your job. I'm not trying to be no re uh, religious leader to you or your, a preacher or anything. But at the same time, I feel that marriage is an honorable thing. It's when two people come together that really uh, on one accord and are headed toward the same goals, that are focused on the same things in life, and that are really fully committed to each other and it wouldn't matter where you propose to somebody. A lot of people say, well, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have proposed to this woman in the mall. But if you would go back and look at other videos I've done, you will see guys proposing in the mall. You see guys proposing in, um, at somebody else's wedding before. You've seen guys proposing at the hospital. You know, one guy even proposed to his uh, fiance on, on her deathbed. So it's no right or wrong place to propose to a person. What makes it right or wrong is who you're asking to join you and marry you. Because let me tell you something. You want to talk about being heartbroken. It's already, uh, quote unquote, hard enough to get somebody to commit, or whether it's man or the woman. A lot of people say, well, it's the man. No. Nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying? It could be both parties, even to me, 50 50. So you may just have as much trouble trying to get a woman to marry you as you would a man. But if the person is really into you, it's going to flow naturally. They be anxious and waiting for you to say, soon as soon as they see you getting on one knee, they be already jittery, got butterflies in their heart, uh, skin tingling. They be like, okay, he's about to pop the question. She's, he's about to pop the question. And, you know, and when you pop that question, nine times out of ten, she's going to say, I do. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you have to understand that everyone is not marriage material so i have put together five reasons five signs you know i always believe in signs i always tell people that because i'm a spiritual person uh which means i'm well rooted i'm real grounded and i look deeper into things you know it's like being an empath you have that ability but at the same time i put together five signs why you shouldn't get married number one if either the broom or the bride, I mean, not the broom, excuse me, the bride or the groom has the slightest reservations about whether they want to be married or not. Okay, now if you with someone, and, if, and it could be the male or the female, if they had a slightest inclination or reservations that they don't want to be with you, that's a sign right there that you shouldn't get married because that person, nine times out of ten, is not ready to get married to you or they're not ready for that commitment because I don't see anything not not wrong with a little bump and grind if you know what I mean I don't see nothing wrong with that neither but you know what I'm saying that comes you know when, whenever however you choose to do it but at the same time if you're with a person and this person you know what I'm saying have all kinds of reservation every time you open up a wedding book every time you go look at uh you know engagement rings or wedding rings you know how people get I don't want to do that this could be the man or the woman that's a sign that the person is not feeling you like you think they are feeling you see it's all about uh, feeling that person. It's all about, you know what I'm saying, having a connection with that person. If you're not connected to nobody, I mean, to that person that you're trying to be with, it don't matter what kind of job you have, what kind of money you have. 
all your work is going to be in vain. So that's number one. If either the bride or the groom has reservations or any inclination about being with you and they have to always say, what if, what if that, what if that, what if that. But guess what? You can if, what if one day to one day that you die. And that, that, that right there, that if is for certain. That's not an if. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So some people bullshit themselves all the way through life just to get to a certain age and then they want to settle down and realize Look, you know, the, the pickings are slim out here. It ain't it ain't too many available people that got all their teeth. They uh, look worth something. They got their mind intact. You know how you come across people and you meet people who look real good or they have a nice physique, nice body. You know, it could be a man or a woman. You know, it depends on what your sexual preference is. But when you start talking to them, they might have missing teeth. They might be all uh, crazy in the head. You, you never know until you... Uh, talk to the person. That's all I can say. You can only know a person of fools when they when they open their mouth. So it's not easy to really to find somebody that's going to be 100% the way that you want them to be. Nobody, nobody. I don't care how beautiful the woman is. I don't care how well put together the man is, or handsome, whatever you want to call it. Nobody's going to be 100% the way that you want them to be. So you have to take what you can get. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, you must remember also that if you really love this person, that looks and all that's going to fade with time anyway. So it's all about the heart and seeing what it is that you really want in life. But a lot of people just there for the temporary. And the people that end up being there for the temporary are the ones that that being that they end up being left alone for the rest of their life it's funny how temporary turn into longevity you know so you got to think about that also now number two when your potential person in professional mortification is the number one reason you are going to say i do you know just like if you working somewhere and this person has a good job and you know what i'm saying and you have a good job and you really want to just come together because you know what i'm saying it's more financially secured if you will it's more like a financial marriage and you have people in hollywood that marry like that you have celebrity couples that marry like that they'll marry somebody with a lot of money but that person might be a drug head might be uh you know what i'm saying bisexual whatever might be uh having extramarital affairs you never really know so you have to understand why are people with you in the first place like i say they're not you know what i'm saying a lot of times people are not with you out of love a lot of times people are just with you just for benefits a lot of time people with you for a place to stay it just, it just depends but you and you you and you yourself and i but not i because that'd be me you yourself and knows what's exactly going on in your relationship so you have to understand you know what i'm saying why is uh this person with you is it because of your professional job that you have or it's because it's some kind of uh potential that they see in you and that will hopefully develop later on and that will benefit them because a lot of times when people put themselves in these position they want to see how can they benefit also instead of doing it out of love because not too many people are doing anything out of love no more also so that's number two now number three is uh are you physical with each other have you ever became physical violent with each other you know uh whereas you and, and it don't necessarily have to be very physical all the time it could be verbal verbal abuse hurt worse a lot of times than physical abuse because one thing about words they cut real deep and you can say something to somebody i'm sure i'm talking to somebody right now who probably done had some said to them today yesterday or you know what i'm saying within the last week by someone they're significant other somebody they love maybe you know if it's not a uh, boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife maybe your child you know it's nothing like getting cut with certain words words really cut you right to the soul you see what i'm saying you get a little flesh wound that'll heal over time but it's like when somebody say something don't it stick with you uh way longer than uh what somebody actually did to you think about that now for those of you who came up fighting like i came up fighting you know what i'm saying you 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 give a couple butt whoopings and you take a couple butt whoopings even though i ain't took no damn butt whooping except for that old man who beat the paint off my ass but anyway uh you notice how you heal up your face heal up, your hands heal up. But one thing about it, somebody can say something to you from 20 years ago and it still hurts. And when you see that person, that 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 anger and that rage, and that resentment, you know what I'm saying? It comes back and it brings back memories. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you see certain people from the past, you still feel good or happy about it because you remember how they treated you. So re re that's also coincide with being married. Think about how the person been treating you. Has it been a good marriage? I mean, not a marriage. <laughs> Has it been a good relationship? Excuse me. Has this person been treating you good, male or uh, male or female? I'm talking to both men and women. So if this person been treating you good, been treating you nice, and treating you like the king and the queen that you are, if you are truly a king and a queen, because you demand respect when you uh, one of those two. Now, if that person's been doing right by you, okay, that's a good sign. But if this person's been violent toward you and called you everything up under the name of the sun, that right there is a warning sign to get out or be very cautious or proceed with caution if you want to. So that's number three. Have they been physical, violent with you, or have they uh, been very verbally abusive to you? Because that would translate into how they would treat you later on in life. Now, it also says that uh, 
being best friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you and this person become like best friends even before you took that final step? Have you been on the phone for hours with each other? Have you uh, talked for like three, four hours and it only felt like 10 minutes? See, when you meet somebody like that, that's a rare quality to find. That means you can do more than just have sex because you can only have sex for so long, even though a lot of y'all might say, well, I love sex. Trust me, uh, that cooking going to get sore and that thing going to get uh, soft. You ain't going to be able to perform or do anything. So after the sex is gone, then what you have then, you have to have a connection you have to have like the old song in intimate connection for those of you who know that song right there but anyway um you have to be on one accord one level with a person that way when you get out the bed or even if you don't even get in the bed for it's making love and having sex whatever you want to call it you still have more than that to the relationship see a lot of people don't have more than that to a relationship so that's all they have and they don't they don't they don't, they don't even say married six months to a year you have to have a communication you have to have uh, more than just, you know what I'm saying, a sexual escapade with each other. It have to be more rooted, if you will, more grounded. And if you have that, that's a good thing also. And also, number five, if uh, money is a problem already in your relationship and this person can't control money, they can't save money, and they always spending money, they always borrow money from you, and you and you saying, well, that's my boo, that's my baby, you know what I'm saying, go for male and female, I'm talking about both now, I'm not just talking about no women, I'm talking about men and women, and this person can't control no money, you give them money, you want like, what the hell the money going to, they don't have nothing to show for it, I mean, they don't tell you, I went and ate here, I went and bought this or that, so where's your money going, you have a gambling problem, you have a drug problem, or do you have a trick and all problem, because men and women trick, men and women do drugs, you see what I'm saying? So you have to understand those concepts also and understand what you're really getting yourself into. Because one thing about it, if a person not good with money, what that's going to translate later on down the line is that you're going to have bills passed due. You're going to have your lights getting cut off, your car getting repossessed because they can't control money. You see what I'm saying? So get you somebody who's on the same level with you. If you can't control money, go get you somebody else that can't control money. Because guess what? You two will get along very perfectly because you're both waste. Because have you ever seen somebody that love to save money and think uh, for us, uh, saving wise, like a business wise, this is what I'm gonna do with my money. Or have you seen a person who takes their paycheck and just go spend it all on a, on a uh, purse, pair of shoes, or whatever the hell else, and then don't have a thing to show for it? See, those two people ain't gonna work because it's gonna be one constantly giving and constant one constantly receiving. So you have to just get somebody that's on that's balanced with you and on one accord. So if you take those five steps, even though there's a few more, and we'll go through those later on. You know what I'm saying throughout this process. But if you could just find somebody that's more compatible with you and you go through these tests and notice the signs, you will see. And so be, even before you even pop that question, you already know if this the one or not. Let me know what you all think about this video. If you like this video, push that like button. If you like, definitely subscribe. Definitely share this video with your friends who's shacking up like the people say in the church. Until next time, y'all stay blessed and never stop giving up. Never stop chasing love because trust me, love is the most powerful thing on this earth. That's why we exist till this day. I'm out.